Okay, so um, so let's talk about crossover here. And the algorithm is going to be fairly basic. Um, we're going to take our chromosome. We're going to um, split split the list of genes in that chromosome up in two halves. And we're going to take the other chromosome and do the same thing. And then we're just going to sort of um, mix them together, if you will, and it, using a particular um, uh, simple algorithm that uh, guarantees that the resulting solution is quote unquote valid. Not that it's optimal, but that it's valid, right? Because you might have two solutions in them um, where when you split them up and try to reconnect them to each other, that they have the same cities in them, that you don't end up with a traversal that visits all of the cities effectively, right? So maybe you, you might want to do a thought experiment to see what would you do to guarantee that you could um, mix these two solutions up in such a way that you don't uh, drop any cities out, right? So my approach is very simple. So I'm going to say final list of TSP gene. And I'm going to actually, it's going to be um, an array my DNA. It's going to be uh, the, a, a, an array of uh, that my DNA. It's, you'll, you'll have an array with two elements in it and each one will be a, of, of, of a list type. Uh, so we're going to introduce a utils class, tsputils.split, because we're going to want to split this. OK, we're going to do the splitting operation several times. So I'm going to need to um, introduce this. It doesn't exist yet right now. Um, and then we're going to say final list of tsp gene. Other DNA is equal to TSP utils dot split and it's going to be other dot get chromosome right and then we're going to say final list of TSP gene first crossover right so we should end up with two crossovers here the first half of the first DNA sequence with the first half of the second DNA sequence the second half of the first DNA sequence with the second half of the second DNA sequence, or vice versa. <laughs> uh, so let's say first crossover is equal to new array list, right? And we're going to give it my DNA of zero, the first one in the array, right? And then we're going to say we're going to have two for loops for TSP gene, gene, in um, other DNA of zero. I'm going to traverse through that list, right? And we're going to say if it doesn't, the first crossover doesn't contain the gene, right? Then we're going to say first crossover dot add the gene. Okay, that should be fairly straightforward, right? Then and we should, yeah, we're taking from the, uh, so we're taking, we start with the DNA, we start with the, the list of genes um, for the first crossover from this guy, and then we go to the other guy, right? We go to the other chromosome, and the first half of it, we try to get it all in there, right? If it doesn't already exist, and we say final list of TSP. Um, so then, no, no, actually, then we want to say for TSP gene, gene in other DNA of one, and we're going to do the same thing if not first crossover contains gene, then first crossover dot add the gene, right? So basically, we're all we're going to do is we're going to take the first half of our DNA, we're going to take the first half of 
our DNA, and we're going to go through and get, and we're going to, and, and then we're going to go, and, and then we're going to go through and get um, the DNA from our partner uh, in that in the subsequent in these subsequent for loops. Okay, and then we can say final, and then we can rinse and repeat final list of TSP gene. Second crossover is equal to new array list, and we're going to do another, and, and then this time, for this guy, we're going to start with, uh, for the second crossover, we're going to start with other DNA of one, okay? You can do this, you can, you can spec this out on pen and paper to see exactly what we're doing here, but we're just mixing up these two DNA sequences, these two chromosome sequences. We say TSP gene of gene in my DNA of zero, exact opposite, right? We say if sec not second crossover dot contains gene, then second crossover dot add, add gene, right? And then finally, we need one more for loop for TSP gene, gene in my DNA of one, right? If not, second crossover contains gene. Very simple. Very simple approach here. And then the last thing that I would do after this is to make sure that the result is valid. I say first crossover uh, size uh, is not equal to, and then we'll put a little helper, tsputils.cities. We'll get the cities from the utils, in our case, dot rank. Or second crossover size is not equal to the same thing, TSP utils dot cities dot length. I know this doesn't exist yet. We can just say throw a new runtime exception. Oops. Right. And then finally, after all that business, we're going to say return new TSP chromosome array. And we're going to include in it new TSP chromosome uh, first crossover and new TSP chromosome second crossover. Right? And that should be it. Okay, so in the next video, we will introduce, um, we'll go over mutation, which would be quick, and we'll solve some of these compilers.